Hey New Hope Youth, how are you doing? 2020 is nearly behind us, can you believe it? It has certainly been an unexpected year, but I think we found some fun moments in there as well. A couple of things I just wanted to share with you before we head into our program tonight, and that is that youth will be back in the building next week. So next Wednesday, 6th of January, 6.30 p.m. at the Hope Centre. It will not be the same without you. Hope to see you there. Can't, actually, can't wait to see you there. The other thing I wanted to share with you was about winter camp, that it is coming up on the 26th to the 28th of February. It's a place called Grace Adventures, it's cross state. We have the whole place to ourselves, which is gonna be phenomenal, which means that we can set up our own program and we have a great program planned. Um, all of the normal activities, so tubing and broom ball and all those fun things, um, great food and a uh, great time where we can just spend together. If you need any information, let me know, but there is information going out to everybody next week. So there'll be permission slips and information for your parents and any other questions you can direct to our office or to me or any of the leaders really, and we'll be able to help you out with that. In the meantime, watch this. So many things, they thought for my attention. My gaze in your direction Yeah, I look to you, God Oh, even when the clouds are rolling Yeah, I live for you, God Oh, even when my world is caving in I choose you I choose you No matter
2020, what a year. It has been the slowest year that has gone so quickly. This year has made us question everything. It has changed our plans, altered our dreams, made us question what's next and helped us to value what's important. This week I've read a statement on social media. We found out who we are this year and we found out that he is enough. In Jeremiah 29, 11, God makes a promise to us. I know what I'm doing. I have it all planned out. Plans to take care of you, not to abandon you. Plans to give you the future you hope for. We may not know what God's plans are, but I can assure you, he keeps his promises. Promises not to abandon us, but promises to give us that future that we've hoped and dreamed for. This year, we found out who we are. We are resilient, we're courageous, we're flexible, we're patient and we're teachable. You may not think so, but the fact that you are still standing and still moving forward, even if it is at a snail's pace, means you are. As we just saw in the video, this year was unexpected. Everything was different and really it still is. We start 2021 not knowing what the future holds, but can I remind you that God knows your future. He promises to take care of you, to stay with you, to give you the future that you hope for, even if it looks different to what you expected. 2021 is full of new adventures and new opportunities. Let's look forward with anticipation, not anxiety. Let's choose to continue to be resilient and courageous and flexible and determined to find the diamonds in the rough. But it all starts with the decision to trust that Jesus loves you and wants to walk your journey with you every day. Can I pray for you? God, I just thank you for this year, that even though it was unexpected, you show up. God, we don't have to navigate this journey on our own. You want to show us. You want to remind us that you promise that the plans you have for us are, are amazing plans to give us that hope and that future that we've always dreamed of as long as it's in line with your word and god i pray that you would just give us strength give us give us that assurance that you're in control that peace that even though the plans look different that there's still amazing things ahead of us still incredible adventures that we will look back on 2020 as a year of finding out who we are and deciding who we want to be. So God, I pray that as we end this year and move into the next year, that you will be present, that you will take us deeper, that you will continue to lead us, that you will continue to show us that you are trustworthy. And no matter what, you want what's best for us. You want us to have fun. You came to give us that life and life to the full. So God, we thank you. We ask for your incredible blessing as we move into 2021. In Jesus' name, amen.
Okay.